ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Bhagavad Gita chapter 9 text 32 Manghi parte via pasha tya ye pi suf papa yone ha sri o vai shastra ta shudra stepi yanti parambatim Just previous to this Lord Krishna has been discussing how uh, even persons who act sinfully can attain him even if someone acts very sinfully if his actual purpose is only to serve Krishna he can attain Krishna And generally we don't expect persons who are serious about Krishna conscious to act sinfully. Well, but it may be that someone takes to Krishna conscious with serious intent but due to past bad habits sometimes slips from the proper standard. But if he is serious about serving Krishna he will overcome that bad habit and progress to the perfectional stage. Anyone. Now this doesn't mean that someone can call himself a devotee and perform sinful activities. But Lord Krishna is making the point that uh, the power of devotional service is so purifying that even if one does slip, even if one has some bad habit from previous life, that by the power of bhakti, one who is sincere can become purified. Here Lord Krishna is making the point in a slightly different way. that persons who are considered lower and sinful they can also achieve the full result of devotional service prior to this uh, krishna prior to this in bhagavad gita lord krishna has classified the knowledge that he is speaking as raja vidya this chapter krishna speaks of raja vidya which means the king of knowledge but it can also be understood to be that knowledge which is generally described to kings as lord krishna has also described in bhagavad gita evam param para praptam idam what's the next word raja shayo viduhu this knowledge was received in disciplic succession and the, and it was understood thus by the great saintly kings krishna is addressing a arjuna who's from a kshatriya family So brahmanas and kshatriyas they are considered very high class and lower than that are the vaishyas and shudras and even below that there are chandalas now brahmana is known as shuchi one whose lifestyle is very pure so it is natural to assume that those who are pure they are more qualified to understand the supreme pure and birth in a lower family is understood to be due to uh, sinful reactions from previous lives however there is another consideration that the jiva by nature is pure so in one sense all the jivas in the world are of the same quality all are spirit soul all are pure by nature now the jivas from another consideration from from another point of view they are all covered by different degrees of impurity dumen avriyate vagne they are different their examples are given like smoke covering fire like the embryo covering the womb there are different degrees of coverings of maya of the knowledge of the soul so the brahmana's position is uh, more pure than that of the shudra but even the position of the brahmana it is it is simply a different degree of contamination compared to that of the shudra so bhagavad gita is atma gyan it is knowledge con- concerned with the self there is also knowledge of social divisions but higher than that is knowledge of the soul and in actual spiritual existence um it that means bhakti or krishna consciousness the uh covering of the soul or the covering of knowledge is not as it is not as important a factor 
as the mercy of Krishna which can remove that covering. A brahmana is in maya thinking, I am a brahmana. A shudra is in maya thinking, I am a shudra. The lifestyle of a brahmana, here we're talking about traditional brahmanas, not simply by birth. So the lifestyle of an actual brahmana is more conducive for understanding that I'm not a brahmana, I'm spirit soul. But the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita appeals to the soul rather than the covering of false ego over the soul. That's why anyone can take to this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita and become fully purified. And it doesn't matter whether one's born in a Brahmana family or a Shudra family or whatever, if one takes to Krishna consciousness. And if one doesn't take to Krishna consciousness, then what's the use of being born in a Brahmin family anyway? Because birth in a Brahmin family is meant for understanding what what is Brahma, what is the absolute truth. So if one simply remains stuck on the platform of rituals and thinking I'm a big Brahmana, then he didn't really understand what is the point. And uh, if one comes to the level of thinking, uh, of understanding Brahma, the, the the supreme truth without understanding Krishna as the supreme truth then he's also not really understood. The impersonal concept of the absolute truth is not complete. One has to understand the uh, supreme personality of Godhead Paramam Purusham Devyam that is Krishna. Mm. In Bengali it said Shuchi Hoi Shuchi hoya muchi hoya jodi Krishna taje. Muchi hoya shuchi hoya jodi Krishna bhaje. That if one is born in a Brahmin family but he doesn't worship Krishna, he becomes degraded. And if one is born in a degraded family but he worships Krishna, he becomes purified. There are many verses in Shastra to corroborate these points. Prahlad Maharaj in the beginning of his prayers to Nrsinghadev, Dev was saying, who am I to offer prayers to Nrsinghadev? Dev? When Brahmadeya, the uh, Surugana, the, the great demigods headed by Lord Brahma are present, who am I to go forward to offer prayers to Lord Nrsinghadev? Dev? But then he said that, well, by the, by the grace of Lord Nrsinghadev, Dev, one can become, even if he's born in, de, in a demoniac family like myself, he can become purified by offering prayers to the Lord. And even if one is in a, from a very good Brahminical family, but he neglects to worship the lotus feet of the Lord. Manita Darpita Mano Manita Darpita Mano Bhagvarishta Then I lost the last line. Mm. He says that if one is a Brahmana with all the twelve qualities of a, of a Brahmana described in Mahabharata, but he neglects to worship the lotus feet of Krishna. If he is against the principle of bhakti, pranang punati sakulam natubhuri manaha, he cannot purify even himself what to speak of others. People go to brahmanas for blessing, or they go so they can become purified from some sins. But one who is against the principle of worship of Bhagavan Hari cannot purify himself what to speak of others. Whereas one who is dedicated, Manyeta Darpita, Mano, Vaga, one who has offered his mind and speech and everything in the service of the Lord, he is, uh, he can pu- fully purify others, even ah. if he's not from a very high class background. Now in the verse after this in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna will say that, well, now, in this verse, he's saying that well, anyone can take to Krishna consciousness. But then he says, well, if even the people from a sinful background can take to Krishna consciousness, then what to speak of that, that the those who are born in from, from a higher background, King Puna Brahmana Punya Bhakta Raja Shastata Anityam Asukam Lokam 
What's the last line? Anitya Masukla. Inam prapya bajasvamam. He says that, then what to speak of those who are born in Brahmana families and devotees from Kshatriya families? In the, if they, in this miserable and temporary world, they worship me, then surely they will come to me. So certainly family background and culture is helpful in to take into devotional service. That we can see in general in India, especially those who are born in Hindu families. The tendency to take to Krishna consciousness is in general more than people born in Europe or America because the culture is there. On the other hand, there is no bar to anyone in any part of the world taking to Krishna consciousness. That is the point being made here. Good. Open to everyone because we all have an eternal, we all are eternal parts and parcels of Krishna. We all have our eternal relationship with Krishna. Earlier today we were discussing why people don't take to Krishna consciousness. Sometimes we think, well, we're distributing so many books and People even read them and say, oh, I read that one and uh, do you have another one or I don't want any more. And we presume, well, if you read the book, then, you know, what happened? Why didn't you surrender to Krishna? It's all there in the book. Everything's very clear, but not, it, it doesn't have the same effect. Every, everyone reading the book, they, it doesn't have the same effect on them. Because, uh, well, yeah, well, why? That's the question, why? We were discussing that People are attached to that which is against their actual self-interest. This is called Appa Swartha Parayana. Swart, do you have that word in Tamil? No. Swartha means Svartha, means self-interest. And Appa means opposite to or perverted. So people have a misconception about what is their actual self-interest. So they're very much attached to this. I don't know how many hundreds of times I have addressed groups of people and told them that, look, we're all going to die soon and we're all going to get the results of our activities and we should take up Krishna Bhakti and be serious about it because with this human form of life is valuable. We can utilize it for Krishna consciousness. You tell everything here is temporary and people are not interested to hear. They may listen politely, but this information which is so obviously true and which should make us live our lives understanding that what is the value we should live this life so that we don't have to get born again in this material world. Most people, they cannot take this up at all. They, they don't hear this. If we come to cheat people by in the name of spiritual life teaching them relaxation techniques or how you can get free from stress so you can go back and work harder, then so many people come and say, oh, this is wonderful. If we encourage people that you do bhakti and at the same time you work hard and have a good, be a good success, have a good career and make lots of money, then many people will appreciate, yeah, this is very good, I like this. But if we speak the plain, clear and obvious truth that we're only here for a very short time, and there's absolutely no meaning to so-called material progress. And we should simply concentrate on what is our actual swarata, what is our actual self-interest becoming Krishna conscious people. Most people cannot even hear it at all. People are so dull-headed and addicted to that which is opposite to their real self-interest that is, it is extremely easy to cheat them and extremely difficult to help them in the actual sense of the term. We were also discussing earlier today how people, they take up some spiritual, they follow some, or they, they identify themselves as a, a follower of some spiritual leader. What is required to become a spiritual leader in the modern age? The answer is a few rich supporters who, are, who, post, who put, place posters all over the town and you have some big program. And if you can talk a little bit from the Upanishads and tell a few jokes, that's also helpful. But the main thing required is simply advertisement, that's all. People are stupid. Just like uh, Pepsi Cola. I mean, I didn't drink it for about 35 years, but it tastes horrible. But uh, they advertise it so much and people buy it. If they didn't advertise it, no one would ever buy even one bottle of Pepsi-Cola ever. 
So in the same way they advertise some big swami and it's it's empty show bottle, nothing there, no substance. But they advertise he got he has his PhD and then he had some he has direct vision of God which no one can tell, but just they tell and oh, 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 oh. okay. <laughs> I'll I don't believe it. Then they ask him, Can you explain about your direct vision of God? And he says, Yes, every day I look in the mirror. Uh, just so many cheaters. If we tell the actual thing that people need to understand, the human life is temporary, we should understand how to utilize it to become free from birth and death. Who is interested? But uh, you, you make some big show and oh, everyone likes to come. And so people are attached to that which is not which is actually opposite to their real self interest. It's not a question of being born in a high family, a low family, or having a PhD or an MSc or any such thing. All that is required is that uh, have one have the sincere desire to serve Krishna. Instead of being upper swartha parayana, we should be narayana parayana, attached to narayana. Narayana parasarve nakutasjana bibhiti. Swaga pavaga narakeshu apitulyata darshanaha. Those who are attached to Lord Narayan, they see going to heaven, going to hell, or liberation as all the same. They're not interested in any of them, they're only interested in serving Krishna. This verse, which I just quoted, was spoken by Lord Shiva. It was spoken to his wife. Parvati. She was very surprised about something and he spoke this verse as way of explanation. What had what happened was Maharaj Chitraketu uh, was great devotee of Lord Anantadev and he had a great airplane or aerial city with which he used to go around the universe. Bimanam. Bimanam. Hmm. Nowadays they say airplane in Tamil. Is it? So, he was in a heavenly position. Aber and one time he brought his vimanam, you can translate that into airplane, <laughs> to, the, to Kailash, where he saw Kailash Pati sitting with his wife on his knee. And he was surrounded by great saintly persons and Lord Shiva was speaking transcendental knowledge to them. By way of joke, Chitraketu Maharaj criticized Lord Shiva that you are speaking transcendental knowledge with your wife sitting on your knee. That's kind of strange, isn't it? So Lord Shiva didn't get angry and the sages sitting with him didn't get angry because they understood that Chitraketu is a great personality. But Parvati became very angry and said, How dare you insult us all here? You, you, you should, you're not fit to be in a heavenly existence. You immediately should enter the condition of a demon. And Chitraketu Maharaj was himself so powerful that he could have revoked the curse or even cursed Parvati back. But he addressed her as Mother Amba. Amba, Amba in Sanskrit. Amba in Tamil. And uh, he said, All right, mother, it's your wish, as you like. He wasn't disturbed. Parvati was Ascharya, Ascharya, Ascharm, Ascharyam Vitam. Well, I cursed him and he should have got upset. That was the idea, but he didn't get upset. And she turned to Lord Shiva and said, How is that? And he explained. Narayana parasarve nakutaschana bhibhyati swarga pavaga narakeshu apitulyata dashana. That those who are attached to Lord Narayana, they, they're not disturbed or fearful of any situation. They see heaven, hell, and even liberation as all the same. Because in any condition, their only motive is to serve Lord Narayana. Whereas those who are upper swarta parayana, they're always thinking, how I can have a higher position. Not knowing, Natevidu Swartagatim hi Vishnu, that their real self interest is to surrender to Vishnu. One who understands this, he can come from any background, doesn't matter whether Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, or even animal background. This is the point to be understood. In Kali Yuga, everyone is fallen. 
ಕಲಾಯನಾಪಯಸಭ್ಯ ಕಲಾವಸ್ಮಿನ್ಯುಗೆ ಜನಾ ಮಂದ ಸುಮಂದಮತೆಯೋ ಮಂದ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ಹಿ ಉಪದೂತ ಇನ್ ಕಲಿಯೋಗ ಯು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಓಸ ಯು ಸರ್ ಅಬ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೋ ಬ್ರೈನ್ ಓ ಬ್ರೈನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋ ಡಸ್ಟ್ ಸೋ ಡಸ್ಟ್ ಓ ಕೌ ಡಾಂಗ್ ಓರ್ ಎನಿ ಸೈ ಯು ಸೈ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ಯಾನಲ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಕೌ ಡಾಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಕ್ಲೇ ಕ್ಲೇ ಹೆಡೆಡ್ Okay. In Bengali, they have cow dung. Matai goborate. They've got cow dung in their head. And here they have clay. Yeah. So, not intelligent. And whatever intelligence they have is misdirected. So, they use their intelligence in the wrong way. People in modern India are so materialistic. Everyone wants to get more money and... go to america everyone's very materialistic make yeah. my make my son a doctor and they, they previously they used to judge whether you're a brahman chatri or vaisya shudra now they judge what kind of car you have what kind of which area you live in and what kind of uh, what how much is your educational qualification they judge you absolutely in a materialistic way very much interested in prestige money Position. What is the use? King in this life, dog in the next. All these big politicians, they love to see their picture in the paper every day. But what is their future? Very black. People, we're trying to bring people to the platform of intelligence. Understand what is our actual necessity. It doesn't matter whether you're high class, low class, everyone in this material world is... requires to understand krishna In krishna consciousness we don't have this caste consciousness nicha jati nahe krishna bhajane ajogya chaitanya mahaprabhu clearly said that birth in a low family is not a disqualification for worshiping krishna shat kul bipra nahe bhajane jogya and simply being born in a high class brahmin family is not in and of itself the qualification to worship krishna jay bhaje she boro abhakta hina cha whoever worships krishna is actually great and those, and those who are not devotees of krishna they are all simply fallen and useless krishna bhajane nahik jat kul adi bicha in the wor- in the worship of krishna in devotional service there's no consideration of one's material background and to judge a devotee in terms of his material background is also offensive so we shouldn't also think well this is a this is a an engineer vaishnav and this is a rickshaw driver vaishnav the engineer vaishnav must be better we shouldn't think like that that that's an offense we should see everyone's since if they're sincere to serve the lord or not so krishna consciousness is actual communism in communism they wanted to make all people equal but it's not possible on the material platform but it is possible on the spiritual platform of course communism has been an atheistic movement but real spiritual communism real communism is spiritual that even the plants and the animals are all part and parcel of krishna so even the plants and the animals can be engaged in krishna's service this is vasudhaiva kutumbakam vasundhaiva this seeing all everyone in the world as our relatives this is possible by krishna conscious it is a very high ideal let us live up to this high ideal rather than being dragged to the gutter platform there's a saying of an irish poet we are all in the gutter but some of us are looking at the stars we are all in this material world but we should look up to the spiritual world to krishna om tad vishnu paramam padam sada pashanti suryo diviva chakshuratatam that the om tad the the, the uh, devotees they are always looking up to the paramam padam the spiritual abode of lord vishnu which is shining like the sun tad vipraso vipan vipanyavo vishnu yat paramam padam that is the supreme abode of vishnu we should look up to that
So when we can understand, I'm not this body, I'm not uh, Tamil or Telugu or English, I'm or Brahmin, Vaishya, Kshatriya, Shudra, I'm simply the servant of Krishna. Yeah. So let me serve him with full sincerity and respect all the other servants of Lord Vishnu. This is Krishna consciousness. And material consciousness means to always strive in the wrong direction, to work very hard for that which will simply cause us suffering life after life, oh. to be fully dedicated and, con and convinced of doing that which is totally against our own real self-interest. Krishna consciousness is so glorious and not taking to Krishna consciousness is so foolish. So please take to Krishna consciousness. Don't waste time. Everything here in this world is temporary. It will all pass away soon. Having got this human form of life, we should utilize it for hearing and chanting about Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Any question about this? Yeah. Say in Tamil and English. Say in English. Guru Maharaj, you told that there is uh, no qualified Bharan, Brahmana that who is not taking Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. But here there are so many Brahmanas who have who are in Patwais Brahmanas, so called Brahmana. They are performing these rituals and other things. This Homa and other things. Mm -hmm. Being an unqualified Brahmana, how they are getting these uh, fruits of these uh, rituals and other things? <laughs> you've, un you've misunderstood what it means to be a Brahmana. You have misunderstood what it means to be a Brahmana. Well, we can say they are Brahmanas in as much as they are uh, in one sense. They know how to perform the rituals to get the result. It's like some people know how to work computers and some people don't. There is potency in the Vedic rituals and those who know how to perform them, uh, then some result may come from that. <coughs> But actual meaning of Brahmana is Brahma Jana Titi Brahmana, one who knows the Supreme Truth. So they may be... They, in Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur's language, such Brahmanas, they're called Vyavaharic or conventional Brahmanas. But actual Brahmana is Paramartic or spiritual Brahmana. To perform Vedic rituals is not spiritual unless it's done specifically for the pleasure of Lord Vishnu. To perform Vedic rituals only for material benefit is wholly material. But sometimes we find that some of these Brahmanas who are performing rituals, they're quite openly atheistic. They don't accept the existence of any supreme person. They just think, well, there are rituals and you perform them and you get the result. It's just, it's just the laws of the material world. It's like the scientists who study the laws of the material world, but they don't believe there's any law maker. So there are Brahmanas like that also. So if there's no more question, then we'll finish the meeting. Bharat, uh, Krishna consciousness person on the Vaikuntha and Naragam either put the Edipaka Matagan something again, and Edipaka Yanara, the person who is in Krishna consciousness doesn't look uh, uh, heaven or hell. Uh, if that they look such expectations, such expectation, how come it is wrong? Oh, he sees them all as equal, so... So what's the question? The question is, uh, what is wrong in uh, expecting uh, Vaikuntha or... Uh, no, he sees, he sees heaven, hell as the same because he has no interest in either of them. He's only interested in serving Lord Vishnu. <coughs> so the place to serve Lord Vishnu, that can be anywhere, but particularly in Vaikuntha. But Vaikuntha and Swarga are different. Quite different. Swagra is in the material world and Vaikuntha is beyond the material world. So Hare Krishna, we'll finish there.